Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Flow Builder uh, practice set series. So in this one, I'm going to show you how you can launch your screen flow from LWC component. So I don't have any specific scenario for this one, but I will just simply show you that how you can actually, which tag you should be using in your LWC component uh, in order to uh, call the uh, screen flow, all right? So let's just go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'll go and create a flow, screen flow. So let's just create a screen flow here. And I'm just going to add a screen. Let's just give some screen property. Okay. And here I am just displaying a text and that's all. If you have any other requirement, like, you know, if you want to implement something else on the flow, you can do that as well. I am just, I just want to show you that, like, you know, how you can call this flow from the LWC component. So I'm just displaying a text so that when we include that LWC component uh, on any of the record page, app page, or wherever you want, then we should be able to identify that if like, you know, what is the, what is that part in the flow that is actually coming from the lightning flow. Okay. So here, um, message from flow and this is coming from screen flow all right and that is it i'm not doing anything else here and okay not sure if the color is applied but that's okay so click on done Go for LWC uh, demo, all right? And then click on save. Now let's just go ahead and create a LWC component. So I have my LWC component. I'll create one. So <clears throat> LWC for flow, all right? Okay, so here we are only going to call the flow in the template file. And to call the flow, we have something called lightning flow. Lightning flow and flow API name. API name is equals to and flow API name, you will get it from here. So this is the gear icon. Just click on this and this is the flow API name. So let me just give the flow API name here. And that's it. That's all. Like this is this is how you actually call the flow in your LWC component. All right. So this is okay. But here I have to also make changes into the meta XML file, right? Because otherwise you will not be able to. Uh, because if you don't expose this LWC component and you do not set it up for like you know on what kind of page you will be including this LWC component, then you will not see it in the R. Okay. So first of all, I'm in exposing this component. And then we have something called targets, all right? And then under targets, okay. Uh, let me, okay, I don't have any other LWC component. That's fine, target. And let me take record page, okay? And that's it. So this LWC component is going to be exposed and it is going to be only exposed for the record page, all right? Now let me go ahead and deploy this. Deploy source to org. All right, so this is deployed now. Let's just go ahead and include this in on, on any of the pages. So I'll go to account page and include this on this page. So the component name is LWC for flow, right? So, okay. LWC for flow, let's just drag it somewhere here. And I'm just going to save it. So from here itself, you can see the result from the flow, but let's just check it out on the page. 
So here it is, right? This is coming from screen flow. So this is the message that we have put on the flow, right? That we had put on the flow here, over here. But in the page, which component did I include on the page? I included the LWC component, right? So this is how you can like, you know, make, um, uh, you, can, you can launch your screen flow from the LWC component, all right? So I'll see you in the next one. Uh, thank you.